Once upon a time, in a kingdom far, far away, in a land high up among the clouds, there was a magical kingdom ruled over by a good and just king. The king had many gifts that he used to make this sky kingdom a wonderful place to live. He had a golden harp that the king would play to entertain the court. He used the kingdom's gold to serve his people. And he had a magical goose that laid golden eggs, which made the best omelets anyone had ever tasted. One day, an evil giant invaded the land. He killed the king and took the harp and the goose and the gold all for himself. But even that wasn't enough for the greedy giant. He went to the village below the Sky Kingdom, and for years the giant robbed the poor and sad villagers there. And none were more poor and more sad than Jack and his widowed mother. One day, the giant stole so much from Jack and his mother that they couldn't afford to feed their cow. You will have to take her to the market and sell her, mother said. And so with a heavy heart, Jack took the cow out of her paddock and led her towards the market. But he hadn't gone very far before Jack met a man on the road. Where do you think you're going with such a long face, my boy? The man asked. You would have a long face, too, if you had to sell your only pet. And before Jack knew it, he told the stranger his whole sad story. I will make a deal with you, my boy, the man said. I will trade your cow for these magic beans. Magic beans? Jack asked. What do they do? Why, they will grow into a giant beanstalk, the stranger said. He told Jack about the Sky Kingdom. Why, a smart boy like you could surely make a fortune in a day in such a place as that. And so the deal was struck. Jack raced home to show his mother. Magical beans, his mother sighed when she'd heard the whole story. Oh, Jack, there's no such thing. You've been swindled, my dear boy. And even if there was a way to reach the Sky Kingdom, the giant lives there. He would gobble you up. Mother tried to hide her disappointment, but Jack felt like such a fool. He threw the beans out the window, and angry with himself, and he went to bed without eating his supper. That night, as Jack and his mother slept, something was happening out in the garden. The beanstalk was growing. It grew up above the cottage, above the trees, above the village clock tower, up and up into the clouds. When Jack woke up the next morning and saw the beanstalk, he resolved at once to climb it. Jack climbed up the beanstalk and up into the Sky Kingdom. As Jack began to walk around and explore the land, some people approached him. Prince Jack? Could it really be you? How do you know my name, and why are you calling me Prince? Because you are a prince, Jack, the true prince of this land. The giant killed your father, the king. You were only a baby when the queen fled away with you for safety. Have you come back to free us from the giant? Jack thought about his poor mother, a queen in exile. He thought about his father that he would never know, and he thought about the people looking to their prince for help. Yes, I have come back to take what the giant has stolen. Jack mustered his courage and crept into the castle. He saw a number of things that looked familiar to him, like from a dream. But soon Jack heard the thump, thump, thump and he knew the giant was coming. Frantically looking around for something to hide behind, Jack spotted an apple barrel, and quick as a wink, he scampered inside. See, ah, oh, um, I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, or grind his bones to make my bread. Giant looked and sniffed around the room, but he couldn't find anything. 
So, satisfied that there was no intruder, he took out his pouch of gold and began to count. As Jack listened to each clink, clink, clink of the coins, Jack became angrier and angrier. He knew that this was the money stolen from his father and the people, and he was enraged. Then the giant took out the magical goose. He took one of her eggs, and the giant began to cook himself an omelet. Jack could smell the cooking, and he remembered that he hadn't eaten dinner last night, and he grew even more mad. Then the giant took out his harp and played the most ear-piercing music Jack had ever heard. And finally, the giant played himself to sleep. Jack crept out of the barrel. He took the harp and the goose and the bag of gold and dashed out of the castle. Jack gave the gold and the goose to the people of the Sky Kingdom, but he tucked his father's harp under his arm and ran to the beanstalk. It was clumsy climbing down a beanstalk with a harp, and from above, Jack could hear thump, thump, thump. Faster and faster, Jack raced down the beanstalk, but the giant was closing in. Jack jumped the last few feet down to the bottom of the beanstalk, grabbed an axe from the shed, and chop, 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 chopped the beanstalk down. The giant gave a yell, and then he was no more. Jack gave his mother his father's harp, and she treasured it for the rest of her days. Everyone was so relieved to be free from the giant that there was much rejoicing. And they all lived happily ever after.